historic blizzards and flooding. Hay bales drop from the sky. And Nebraskans embracing the theme, Nebraska Strong. This is Friday Five, brought to you by the Nebraska Corn Board. Let's begin by taking a look back at last week when Nebraska's most widespread natural disaster was just beginning. A bomb cyclone hit the entire state, bringing a historic blizzard in the west and rain in the east. Since that storm on Wednesday, all we've seen is water. 85 cities in 74 counties have declared emergencies. Almost 2,000 miles of roads have been closed at one point by this flood. The Nebraska Army National Guard soldiers conducted Operation Prairie Haydrop, which is just one of the many efforts from the Nebraska Guard to help Nebraskans. They airdropped several bales of hay to stranded cattle using the Chinook helicopter on Wednesday. The Nebraska State Patrol and local law enforcement have also played a critical role in relief efforts. They've been aiding in eastern Nebraska since last Thursday. Looking at some of the figures for agriculture, farm and ranch losses are expected to reach $1 billion in the state from damage caused to both the blizzard and the flood. Director of Ag Steve Wellman and a group of others estimate a $400 million loss to the cattle industry. He explained they considered things like death loss and sick animals that will follow. As for crops, the damage is estimated at $440 million. Wellman says that number accounts for land that will have been delayed on planting or won't be planted at all. Well, Vice President Mike Pence traveled to Nebraska Tuesday. He was joined by Governor Pete Ricketts and Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds to survey the damage. They also stopped at a temporary shelter at a set that was set up at a school. They spent time thanking the Waterloo first responders and visiting with those impacted by the flood. Now, Ricketts said he spoke to President Trump when he was with Pence and confirmed that FEMA has received Nebraska's request for federal disaster assistance. If you would like to help Nebraskans in need, you can donate to a number of agricultural groups that have set up relief funds. You can give monetary donations to the Nebraska Farm Bureau, the Nebraska Cattlemen's Association, and the Nebraska FFA Foundation. And if you can donate hay, the Nebraska Department of Ag has established a hay drop-off in locations throughout eastern Nebraska. Today has been designated as Nebraska Strong Day to support the, a statewide Nebraska Strong Drive for flood relief. The Nebraska Rural Radio Association is partnering with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association to take part in the one-day drive. Now, all these donations will go to the American Red Cross to aid the ongoing recovery efforts. We encourage you to call to help those in need. And that concludes this week's edition of Friday Five, which is presented by the Nebraska Corn Board. Our thoughts are with Nebraskans recovering from the widespread damage. So stay safe and have a great weekend. This is Mike. Mike likes his car. Mike likes to save money. And Mike likes to breathe. So Mike fills up with E15 with 15% American ethanol. The clean octane in E15 gives Mike the performance he wants from his engine and the clean air he wants for his family. Better yet, E15 costs less at the pump. Higher octane, cleaner air, lower cost. E15 sure gives Mike a lot to like. Discover E15 with American ethanol.